Conservation Carpathia is actively involved in rewilding efforts in Romania, especially in the Carpathian Mountains. An average one race size and inside you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine cameras that go for that particular individual, hypothetical on range. Right. Right. Can you have cameras in the so No, that there is the animal version in these areas, or you just say this is yeah. the area. No, we know. You know. In 2019, I was fortunate to be able to join them as they employed various scientific methods and techniques to monitor and study the wildlife in the region. Some of the key aspects of their work included bear scat collection, bear hair collection, camera traps, land transects, wildlife tracking, habitat restoration, and of course, community engagements. Yeah, the camera is helping you. On our first expedition day, we found ourselves traveling up high into the mountainside, where we would hike up a great distance, and you could see the views for hours, just all around you. Beautiful small villages, hills, trees, and more. We were ready to collect our bear samples. Is that another one down there? That's an exciting one there. Yeah. Conservation Carpathia engages in the collection of bear scat samples for DNA analysis. Bear scat, or feces, provides valuable insights into the diet, health, and population dynamics of bears. By analyzing the scats, researchers can gather information about the bear population, including their feeding habits and the presence of any potential threats or diseases. Samples are collected into small collection tubes with information being entered onto the computer. These are then submitted for testing at a later date. We were ready for our second day of expedition and now we are headed to a different location where we would be doing and working with camera traps. We would be installing them and monitoring them for any creatures that might come by. Uh, it's important to set the, the time because uh, we want to know uh, what time uh, animal is coming from mm -hmm. the camera. So now we have... Uh, Camera traps are used as a non-invasive and effective method to monitor wildlife. They first need to be set up with regards to their location, their time, battery life, and more. Okay, so you can check as well which... Yeah, yeah, the next step is over. Okay. The camera traps are strategically placed in different locations within the Carpathian Mountains. They are triggered by motion or by heat, by capturing images or videos of animals in their natural habitat. They can study their behavior, population size, and movement patterns. The most exciting part, of course, is seeing the pictures afterwards. 
Some of the creatures that came through were the lynx. And then we also saw bears. And we even got to see a boar. So very exciting indeed. Of course, no matter where we go in the mountainside, we also want to be looking for more bear scats, collecting any sample we can and giving every person the opportunity to do the sample collection and the addition of the information into the computer system. Land sex involves systematic surveys conducted along predetermined paths or routes. This way, biodiversity and ecological health of the landscape is assessed, documenting and recording various aspects such as plant species, animal science, and habitat characteristics. Next, we were looking at collecting bear hair sample just in the way as bear scat sample. You could always tell where the bears were recently by looking for the scratches in the tree bark. Whenever you found a scratch mark, it would be easy to find a coarse bear hair within the bark itself. These would be aseptically collected, put into an envelope, and then we would be submitting it for testing for DNA later. This often gave more information as to the type of bear, the bear health, and more information. We were nearing the end of our expedition, and our final days would be spent on top of the Carpathian Mountains. We hiked several miles up until we reached the most beautiful high sitting on top of the hillside. The views from this hide were beyond belief, and in a sunrise setting, it blew your mind away. From here, we would sleep overnight while looking for boars and bears in the early morning hours. We were not disappointed for the next morning when we saw the most beautiful creatures come to the window. After becoming extinct in the wild, with the last bison being killed in 1927, the FCC has been working on a reintroduction program since 2012. By 2024, they plan to release a grand total of 75 individual bisons and beavers as well. In addition to their scientific research, Conservation Carpathia also emphasizes community engagement and collaboration. They work closely with local communities, providing education, promoting sustainable practices, and involving them in conservation efforts. This approach helps foster a sense of stewardship among residents, leading to long-term support for the rewilding and conservation projects of Romania. <laughs> 